All right, here we are, game three. I think this hand uh, is perfectly keepable. It has a lot of hate in it, and we have a uh, spring leaf and the potential to just go nuts with our install. So I will be keeping this, and a turn one illness seems pretty good. So let's go spring leaf. You always want to play your mana maker first because they do will not have a chance to respond. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and run out Midnight. I would rather it die than Ornithopter. So after this spell resolves, I'm still going to have priority, which is why it's better to go ahead and play it first. So let's go ahead and play an Illness in the ranks. Do I want to play my Ornithopter? I'm not going, I don't think, he, no, why would he run a Pyroclasm? He wants that just as well. Uh, I don't think it matters. I think I want to suit up a Springleaf. So we'll just, we'll just see what happens. But I don't think I want to play that Ornithopter just yet. But I definitely want to play that other Springleaf. Vault Scourge is nice as well. Uh, let's go ahead and play the Spring Leaf, though. So yeah, now we are going to play the Ornithopter. No point in trying to uh, play it right now, because we would have to tap both of our Spring Leafs to play the Insole. Let's get in for one here. And then let us go ahead and play our Vault Scourge. So the great thing about using Insole on a Spring Leaf is that he can't bolt it in response like he could if I played it on my Vault Scourge. And so that alone makes it seem a lot better to me. Um, it makes it seem it's a lot more resilient to, you know, he can't I can't like target this and him be like, oh no, never mind, you don't get it. If he taps out next turn though, I will certainly insole insole my Vault Scourge. That looks unlikely, however, as it seems he's probably going to kill ahead and kill it right now. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so let's see what he does now. Still looks pretty likely that I'll insult, go ahead and soul. Yeah, definitely going to this time. Um, let's just go ahead and go for it. He missed a land drop last turn. See, he aired Mace it at the end of mine. So see, he can, yeah, he can Magma Jet that, but doesn't really do a whole lot. Spares him a damage. Let's see where he puts those two cards. Bottom, bottom, that's good news for us. Let's get in for five here. We'll keep that Ornithopter in our hand. He's going to see we have the Probe and the Whip Flare. Or excuse me, the Ornithopter and the Whip Flare. He probes and draws an unknown card. He plays a young Pyromancer, which I will certainly be sweeping right now. Do I want to do that? Maybe I don't want to sweep him away just yet. I think I want to do this instead. Because now he has to block. That seems a lot better. So here we go, top decking two in souls for the for not the win quite yet, but he's gonna have to lose his young pyromancer here. He's very far behind. Feeling pretty good about this game. Yeah, he has to chump. Unless something create, oh yeah, we don't even have to kill it because we have this illness out. That's right. All right, uh, we win match four. Uh, so we finished two and two today. That's not enough to prize. 
Um, I, I am sorry that I, I didn't do better. Uh, I would have liked to have done better, obviously. Um, but thank you for watching. Uh, please, th I mean, thank you for your continued support. Uh, next time you see me, if you said, say, you know, Adrian, you totally threw that game when you X, I will definitely, I would definitely love to talk about it. Uh, that is one of the reasons I'm making these is to uh, improve myself as a player. Uh, I really don't, I think I have a very bad matchup against combo, although I don't know if that's just me as a player or just the deck affinity. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will be making some more videos soon. So.